pretty close. <laughs> Why do you think this little indentions right here? I have no idea. No idea? You know, it's funny because I've talked to a lot of people. And a lot of people go, well, you know, the air comes down and it hits the middle of that spoiler and it just makes it go right in the center of it. And that's really not the case. And I didn't know this. I've been with Roush for almost five years. And I didn't know this until recently. The reason this indention is here is it started with the last series of car. And Jack got in the car, looks in the rearview mirror. And, you know, Jack's not a real tall guy. Great in uh, stature, just not real tall. And he couldn't see over the spoiler. So they put an indention there so he could see when he backs up. And it, it's pretty funny to me, and customers really like that little tidbit of uh, information. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Coming around outside, you see that Ford did us a great favor. They moved that antenna for the 2010. Cuts out wind noise, things like that. Um, got side splitters that come down the side. They keep the, the car. It's got a real low, aggressive-looking stance to it because of that. It doesn't look like it's sitting up real tall on tires and wheels. Before we go under the hood, I want to show you something that's really, really cool in my opinion. Um, I want you to look at that hood and stand back here, and if you'll video this, let me show you something. Is that all of McCombs Ford West cars have this, and I thought it was really cool that they made sure. If you look at the hood, it's got one common line right here in the middle, right? Okay. Well, this is the only common line that's straight. The rest of them slant to the left and to the right. Why would that be? Well, you probably don't know the answer, so I'm going to give it to you. Slants to the left and to the right because it does control wind. That as, you're, as you're going at your high rate of speed, 60, 70, 80, 120, whatever your speed is, that air is going to come up through that through that hood, come off the sides, and you can see it goes to the side of the windshield, okay? Where the rear view mirror is, it's kind of slanted towards the inside a little bit, it diverts wind, but it does the wind comes, it hits that rear view mirror, and it clears off a path that's large enough to take all the rain off of your windshield, off your driver's and passenger side windows as you're driving down the road. Why would they do that? Well, that way you can see your side view mirror with no rain in the way, so it's just a big safety feature. And the cool thing about it is every car that McCombs Ford West has has that feature to it. Wow. Pretty cool deal. I don't hear very many people talking about that. Yeah, I don't know. Under the hood of a Roush 427, this is what is the, 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 the heartbeat of a Roush, and that is this 1.8 liter supercharger. This thing is pushing how much horsepower would you guess? Upper 400s. Well, it's 435 horsepower. That's our advertised horsepower. It's a, it's a, it's an aggressive number too. And yes. the cool thing about 435 horsepower is the way it's delivered is it's delivered constantly. Right. It's not like you. It's not like a turbo. It's not like you step on a gas and then it winds up and then all of a sudden, boom, it takes off like a rocket. Well, that's yeah. very unsafe. Roush has really gone and engineered this, and we've done a good job with it because it'll. It'll give you that power the whole time. So if your girlfriend drives it or your wife drives it or whatever, you don't have to worry about her being nervous or scared. Um, it's a roots-based uh, supercharger. Pushes about six pounds boost like we talked about. You'll see as you look through here that it's really a system. It's not just some piece that they put on top. Roush has got the cold air kit that's already in there, so you don't have to go spend the extra money. Um, this cold air kit actually funnels air from the front of the car versus from the fender. Fender is where you pick up a lot of heat. You'll get heat from the fender, from the road, from the tire, from the brake. And what you're doing is you're pushing hot air into a supercharged car. Right. You're not really doing a good job for it. Yeah. With cold air, you're actually going to pick up horsepower because the colder the air, the more dense the air, the more explosive the air, giving you more horsepower. So Roush has incorporated that into every supercharged car that they built, which is really a pretty cool deal. You'll also see, unlike other manufacturers, that the Roush is a serialized car, and it's also built by one man. And that person will be the person that gets to sign the, 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 the firewall plaque, right here. Uh, Larry, it looks like Larry built this car. And then you also have the serialized plaque on the side. The serialized plaque denotes the, the, the package it is, which this is a 427R. Mm -hmm. It's a 2010 model. This is number 330 of 427R. Considering how late we're getting into the 2010 model year, that's a low number. Right. That is a very low number. That would give this car a lot of value. Uh, you'll see it's 435 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds torque, which is more than enough to impress all your friends and everybody else. Steven, do you have any questions under the hood here? I really covered pretty much everything. It's awesome. I'm just kind of doing a real quick walk around. I know that the guys here at McCombs West normally take a good 10, 15 minutes, and they get really in detail on these cars, but I know that you know most people are in a hurry, and I'm just going to breeze through and go fast and give you some, some tidbits of information. Um, I know Eloy can answer some questions for you and things like that. Are you looking to buy a Roush today, or are you just curious, or what are you doing? Actually, I'm in the market. Are you? Really? To buy, yes, Sweet. Hey, Eloy, the guy's in the market to buy. We've given him some good hot points. I mean, is this a car that you think you might want to buy? Actually, yeah, I'd like, I'd like to buy this one, actually. Okay. I'll tell you what. Jump in the driver's seat. Eloy, why don't you take him for a ride? Can you get in that driver's seat? 
I want you to rev that gas up a couple times. I want to hear that mean exhaust. All right. Take it for a quick spin, guys. This car sounds awesome. Just awesome.